All right, so the next thing we want to talk about is the eraser shield. So if you have corners, right, zoom in a little bit. So like right here, this corner, and that corner kind of go over a little bit more. What I can do is I can take the eraser shield, put the little overlap into the eraser shield, and then erase it. And then I'll get a nice clean corner. Or I can take the actual outside of it and kind of line it up on the line also. Now you have a nice clean corner there. So same thing here, I could take it, put, put the shield on it, and erase all that extra, that extra line right there. Sometimes it takes a couple times to get it just right. So then I can get it nice, nice neat line. All the different shapes on the eraser shield make it so I can kind of fit into different things. So if I have different width that I, can, can, I need to erase between, that's what these are for. If it's around a curve, I can use these to kind of get just the, just the part I want around the curve done. So nice piece, nice tool to use. Also make sure you're using the white eraser, not the pink ones. The white ones can erase pretty well. You can see here in the last video I had a lot of scribbling that's pretty much gone now. Um, if it, I had to use the pink one, there'd be little pink marks left. And you might also want to brush or something so you can brush off what you erase.